Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 2, Episode 2 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. The first part of this episode was just that sneak peek that they released a while back, and I'm going to include the clip from that video I made earlier just so people who haven't seen it can get a chance to see what I talked about. They bring up a really good point here about uh, gymnastics and like how effective it is really. It's, I mean, besides the fact that they're jumping from trees like Naruto, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. But one thing to mention here is the advancement of kinesiology and how it applies to athletics today. Kinesiology is a study of body movement, and what we can see here is how effectively a trained gymnast can behave when it comes to someone who's just learned through like just moving and like foraging for food, essentially like living in a stone world, it's very, very different because with the knowledge of medicine and athletics we have today, we can push our athletes much further to see what the human body is capable of because we've really narrowed down like the diet you need to eat and the way to exercise and how to rest, how to effectively train without injuring yourself. All of these things came with time. And if you're in a stone world, there's no knowledge about like how to get stronger, faster, it, like it, all you really know is like run kind of every day. It's, there's not enough information about how to train in order to actually push yourself to the point where you become like a capable athlete. <laughs> That is the most primitive flash grenade I've ever seen. It's, I mean, I, I understand that I'm watching Dr. Stone, right? But it's literally just a light bulb. Like, like you can clearly see it coming. I, well, I guess, like, I don't know. I suppose, like, as a gymnast, that, that girl would never actually know what a flash grenade looks like. But, I mean, this is, Senku is really creative because I, I don't know how, if I could have come up with something like that. Most grenades are rigged for a time delay for safe <laughs> for safety. I mean, for the safety of the person who's throwing it, not the one who's receiving it, obviously. The other type of grenade is an impact grenade, where it actually doesn't explode until it makes contact with something else. And those aren't usually, like, thrown, because if people have actually tried to throw impact grenades, and what'll usually happen is they'll just explode while they're in your hand and you're tossing it. But now they're mostly used for landmines or in grenade launchers, where they have, like, different, like, ways of actually, like, launching this thing. It's, it's a whole different level of engineering, but what Senku has right now is a time delay flash grenade. When Senku throws it really high in the air and then he pulls out that wire, that's the equivalent of pulling out the safety pin. And now I don't know what's exactly inside of there, but if I had to guess, it's most likely he's got a bunch of capacitors that are just all lined up in series. And the moment he pulls that safety pin, he's completing the circuit. And all that power just floods the light bulb and it just creates the, the most bright, light and that's what it emits a flash that no one in the stone world has ever seen and people from their age have probably never experienced. The reason flash grenades work has to do with how our eyes process light. When you have such a bright light that's in contrast to what you have around you, your eyes get overloaded with stimulation and your natural like reaction is to close your eyes so that you don't injure yourself. But these flash grenades are going to work most effectively at night when there's no light around you. If you just use it during the day, like it'll still have the same effect because it's much brighter than the light around you, but it won't be nearly the same. So, and I know that Senku, like given the technology he has access to, he won't be able to create a bright enough light to have an effective like flash grenade during the day. But since they're here at night, even like a, a small, a small uh, light at night is going to be much more effective than like a medium or large one during the day. Chrome 
最終兵器のレベル3が火吹くなライトで照らしたとこに光のマークなんだよさーて時間ねえんだとっとと始めんぞ I've talked in a previous like, episodes and videos I've done on Dr. Stone about fluorescence, and that's exactly the principle he's showing right now. Like, that, that giant like, cannon of a light that he has in his hand is a UV light, and he's using that to see all the fluorescence、uh, from like, pretty much what was on his hand was a bunch of minerals that he grinded up, and then he put that on.、Um, I forgot like, the, the pink girl, I forgot her name. Like, he puts on like, the pink girl's like, shoes, and like, as she's like, hopping around in the snow, she's leaving a trail of like, fluorescent minerals that he can just shine a UV light on, and that's how he's going to track her all the way down to wherever she's going. Fluorescence is essentially where you shine light on an object and that'll excite the electrons. And then once you remove the light, or once that like, source of light stops, the electrons will go all the way back down to their ground energy levels. And as they release energy, they're releasing it in the form of light. And that light is what we see as fluorescence. Senku already has like, fluorescent minerals, like we saw for tungsten, for example. That's why he showed it in, like, in the first initial episodes where I explained the concept in a little bit more detail. So he doesn't really matter which like, minerals you use as long as they. Display fluorescence, which a lot of them do, and we saw he has them all.、Uh, you can like track her anywhere she goes until those particles wear off or there's, like, there's none left on her. This is not like crazy amazing technology either, actually. It's so common and so widely used that there's actually a company, I don't know why I know this, but there's actually a company that they use it to like detect rodents. <laughs> like they'll actually set up like a little like thing where like mice and rats walk into, and then they'll get like their hands, feet, and bellies all covered up in this like, like、uh, fluorescent like,、um, like minerals or substances, and then they'll walk back to their nest, and then some guy will shine like a UV light, and they'll follow the trail that the rat or the mouse. Takes back to where they came from so they can like find out where their nest is. It's like again, I'm, I'm not sure where I have that information from, but I know like it's exactly what he's doing right now. But instead of tracking a rat, he's tracking that girl. Making a UV light is very, very easy. You can actually make one with just your iPhone or smartphone flashlight if you want to. And like how you would do that is there's actually a bunch of videos on YouTube showing you how to as well. You just take two pieces of tape, and then on one piece of tape, and make sure you're covering your,、uh, the camera flash with it. On one piece of tape, just draw like red color, and then on, cover that with a second piece of tape, and then just draw blue over that. And then you just shine it. Using your flashlight wherever you want to, and that is exactly how the UV light will activate. It's just a regular white light with a red and blue filter. So that's exactly what Senku has. And like, I don't know why that's, that's so big. Like, maybe because like his batteries are giant, so he has no way of like compressing it, but that's a huge lens. And I, I don't know what red or blue filters he's putting over the actual、um, white light that's being produced from the flashlight, but that's, it, it's not a difficult thing to make. It's actually quite easy. So that's. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more impressed with the flash grenade than I was with the UV light. I'm more With, like, the, the whole war going on, quote unquote, is all about information. And I, one of the big differences is that, like, today, there's actually <laughs> there's an abundance of information. There's so many news sources, there's so much information just being flown, like, everywhere that it's actually hard to discern which one of the reportings have the least amount of bias so you can get what, like, what the real, actual information is going on in the world. This just proves that the side with the greater technology will always win. Like Senku with his like, little janky like, cell phone, with a, like, back backpack cell phone, whatever you want to call it, he was able to use that and win this little battle, which is going to put him one step closer to winning the war. ね、ううう 
いやさっぱりイメージできんが科学文明の例えはは That's a very good point. They don't know what texting is, which in some ways good for them actually. I am really impressed with this cell phone that Senku made. I mean, despite the fact that you get to put it on your back like a backpack, it, it, it's still a really, really revolutionary idea, especially for this time period, right? Like, this is like, this is seriously like a huge scientific breakthrough. And one thing I, I do want to like stress here is that the, they're using this cell phone more as a telegram versus like an actual like phone with like talking capabilities. And you gotta really be careful about, like, I don't know how many batteries are actually, like, inside of that thing. I don't know if they mentioned it, like, in season one or something like that. But the electrical power here is really, really limited, and they have to conserve as much of it as they can. Like, they can't just plug it into an outlet and, like, you know, recharge the batteries. So every time they send a message, it better be a really important one. <laughs> Using telegrams to send Morse code was really, really expensive back in the day. Like, way back in, like, 1860, if you wanted to send a 10 word telegram from New York to New Orleans, that cost you like $2 and like 70 cents, which is about $65 in today's money. And that's just domestic. Like if you wanted to send a message from like New York to like London, let's say for example, that would be like $7 for 10 words. And that is equivalent to like 200 something dollars right now. Yo. Sinky! Oh, this is super cool, man. Oh, these guys haven't heard their voices in gosh the longest time. That that is really really cool. I'm not gonna question how he knew like exactly where in the ground to stick his like extremely muscular arm like what what was that right like how did he know where to get that microphone and how look you know what I, I'm just appreciative of the fact that they actually found each other because th this is like this is really really cool man I I'm excited to see episode three. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more Dr. Stone, it is on the way. If there are any other movies, TV shows, or anime you want me to check out in the meantime, go ahead and put in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.